everybody, and welcome again to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I know that you will find inspiring, interesting, and engaging. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. Today, of course, you know I love interviewing interesting people, and this to me is really interesting. How many of us have had to go through and have headshots done? You go through and you find a photographer, then you go out there, and then you hope they work out great, right? I know, we've all been there. Well, today I want to introduce you to Tina Dwyer. She is the owner and chief photographer, if you will, of Dwyer Photography. Tina, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It is my pleasure. So, Tina, we're going to jump right in because, like I said, everybody has to get professional headshots at some point. What yeah. is it about a headshot that we should really know about? A headshot? Um... It, it just shows that you take yourself and your business serious. Uh, so many times we meet hundreds of people a day and if they only know our name, but they can later on not remember who does that name belong to, mm -hmm. you're wasting opportunities um, on social media, uh, profile pictures. If oh, you don't have true. a profile picture, people will keep on scrolling. They oh, will not no. remember. And you know, and I do that too, you know, on social media, how many of us scroll through and we look at somebody's profile picture first. And so if you have a puppy up there or, <laughs> you know, I used to have the Batman symbol up there because I'm a huge Batman right. fan, I, you know, and those things kind of say something about you. Now, you also call yourself a branding photographer. And yes, is that kind of what you do? You help people find their brand through photography. Um. Not so much to help them find their brand, but to to bring it all together in a visual package. Oh, like um, for me, for example, these classes mm -hmm. started my brand, my brand okay. color. All of a sudden, I'm like the blonde photographer with the red glasses. <laughs> yeah. And so to put that all together, to to help you tell the story of what you do, why you do it in photography. Man, that uh, with is images awesome. is what yeah. I love to do and what yeah. I help startups and entrepreneurs and anybody who needs a little push for the new year. Mm. That's good. Now, do you do mostly studio stuff or do you do on location or is there one better than the other for, for your brand or is it dependent on what you do? It depends on what you do. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work for everybody. I have a studio downtown, mm -hmm. but for example, if you are a baker, it makes no sense for you to come into my studio. It would make more sense for me to come into your kitchen or into your bakery mm -hmm. and show you do what you do. Right. Um, oh where yeah. if you are a lawyer or a accountant, it makes sense to just come into the studio and we can mm -hmm. build the set around you. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, it's stuff like that that you never think of. And thinking of that, how do you find a good photographer? Because, you know, anybody can nowadays, anybody can take a picture, right? <laughs> that is so true. Uh, with cell phones, we have a lot of issues sometimes. Um, mm. How do you find a good photographer? By doing your homework. Mm. Um, go online, check their ratings, check their portfolio. Um, if somebody does really dark photography, but you're a very light kind of person, you might not be the right match and vice versa. I'm very bright. I, I love white backgrounds and, and bright colors. Mm. That's my, my style. Mm. Um, so if you more into the darker um, style, you might not want to come to me. Right. Uh, yeah. Ask your friends, ask networking uh, people, who did you use? Mm -hmm. And right. right now I'm just losing it. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. You're doing great. And I appreciate your time and your expertise. So now, Tina, how did you get into photography? Have you been doing it long? God, I fell in love with photography when I was 14. Mm. And I'm not going to tell you how many moons ago that was. But <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm living my passion. I wow. finally at one point said, this is what I'm going to do. And I tell you what, I'm never happier than when I'm behind the camera right. and I can connect to my client mm -hmm. or my model. I think yeah. there's something very intimate in that, in that moment when we create together. Yeah. So 
I, yeah, I love it's that. For a long time. You know, you don't think of a picture as something intimate, but if you do it right, it stands for a long time. Yeah. Man, I, I guess that is a thing. Now, when you're looking at headshots or something like this, like the branding that you do, I know there, of course, there is a cost that's associated with it. Is it anything that you know, you need to at least have made your first million or can you get it in <laughs> under that budget? No, 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 no. Um, first of all, branding and headshots are a business expense. Mm. So oh, very nice. you are not wasting your money. You can claim that next year in your taxes. So don't wow. think about you just throwing your money out. Yeah. But also you're building your business. You're building your, your brand. Mm -hmm. That means you're bringing in more clients. More clients going to see you and you want to connect to you. Sure. Um, also, with uh, search engines, you will be found much easier mm -hmm. when you have images with yeah. your website and with your LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. You know, yeah. you want to cover all those bases. Mm -hmm. So you're investing in bringing more clients and more customers yeah. to your business. I mean, you brought up something that I really did not consider, but it's so true. Your headshots and branding is a business expense. Yeah. And so you're not throwing money away. It's like anything like anything like your business cards, your uh, brochures, your any of that stuff. So you're branding. Yeah is part of it, which means your headshot. All right, so y'all yeah. didn't know that she was also gonna give tax advice. You're welcome. Oh, yay. <laughs> Dina, I appreciate it, because this is so huge. It's something that we don't think about as small businesses. And I know a lot of us that are speakers, uh, you know, I'm a speaker as well, we do have headshots because when people are looking for speakers, they are looking at what you look like as well. You yeah. know, and that's not really necessarily a bad thing, but it, it helps because people will ask you, you know, hey, can you send me a headshot and a bio? You don't necessarily want to send this pi the picture that you took on your cell phone in your car, yeah, exactly. <laughs> which a lot of us have done. <laughs> and, you know, people, they will remember your face before mm -hmm. they remember your name. They really will. Uh -huh. I have been downtown and somebody walked up to me and I know you, you're the photographer. <laughs> yeah, they didn't remember my name, but they remembered yeah. my face. Yeah, and that that's true. And it, like you said, you become your brand. Yeah. And so it's good to show yourself in the best possible light, if you will. Photography talk. I don't know. <laughs> you guys, this is so cool. And this is stuff like this that you need to know. So don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also leave us a thumbs up and a comment. And don't worry, all of Tina's um, information is going to be in the description. So you will be able to find her and get in touch with her and set up an appointment. And who knows, maybe get some more tax advice. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tina, but before I let you go, you have a good <laughs> okay, this game is really simple. It's called This or That. It is just an opportunity for people to get to know you better. So I'm going to give you the choice of two things, and you, off the top of your head, tell me which one you like the best. Are you ready to play? Yep. All right, let's do this. Android or iPhone? iPhone. Read the book or see the movie? Ooh, both. Okay. Really? I don't see both. If I see the movie, I probably won't read the book, but that's just. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I got to do both. <laughs> okay. Book too. <laughs> Wallflower or Life of the Party? Ooh, Wallflower. That's kind of surprising, Tina. But then if, as a photographer, maybe it makes sense. Cause you want to watch and see i don't know yeah summertime fun or winter wonderland winter wonderland okay eat to live or live to eat Ooh, eat to live okay out in nature or in the house uh since i have allergies in the house <laughs> coke or pepsi nida okay drive or ride um drive okay i like sports or i don't care oh no i love sports really what's your favorite sport football 
Me too. Oh my gosh, we're going to talk later. And when you were in high school, what was your first job? Oh, wow. Newspapers. You I, wrote them? I, I, delivered uh, them? Delivered or delivered took newspapers. Pictures? You did. Yeah. Wow, that, that actually is kind of interesting. That wasn't my gig. I don't know. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. And don't forget, we will see you next time on Extra.